Hey guys, I'm Rose Vane, and welcome back to another episode of Vampire. Where we last left off was we basically uh, followed a trail of blood to a bar and bar and inn, I guess I would call it an inn bar, bar inn. Um, talked to the professor, a professor, uh, Ecker Sw Swansea, I think is his name, and we spoke to a few folk locals in there as well, uh, Sabrina and Tom and some drunk guy. Uh, we spoke to those guys a little bit to get to know about the world so far. Um, yeah, not too much things, not too much wild stuff like we did in the first episode where there was so much action, like, action-packed sequence and stuff. But now we're, like, kind of more mellow and more slower and, like, just being more RBG-esque than normal for us. Can we open this door? It's locked. I think that... The enemy went through this door. The the guy that we were supposed to follow probably went through this door. Like the blood trail probably Let's led that up there. I think mm. drink no longer. Let me talk to Tom a bit more, I guess. Track the killer, interrogate the locals. So we we do need to keep talking to the locals, I guess. Maybe Sabrina knows more, actually. Evening, sir. Can I help you? I have a few questions for you. <sighs> Well, if you must. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think she knows the truth. I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please, tell me what's going on. <sighs> It's Will. Hmm? William Bishop. He came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. What happened tonight? Yeah. He, he was dead drunk as usual. But my <coughs> God, he, his, his eyes. His face. He must have caught something awful. He shouted and, and cried. No, he's a vampire. <laughs> it was terrible. Dude, this guy is literally Tom, not Tom, Will, William, right? This guy is literally the vampire. He's just, <laughs> I don't know why would you hide a guy with a va vampiric power. Why are you so afraid? I mean, his skin, his hands. I scrubbed every glass and every chair that he touched. Ew. God, I hope it's not contagious. Oh, I see. They think it's a, an actual flu sickness that's just going to kill him. Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor. Who worked at the canning factory before he lost that job. Oh. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, well... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. Alright, now we know that there's a problem here. I think I'm losing my mind. Maybe you are. All I right. should just run as far away from this place as I can. Oh, there's a blood quality to it. But Tom Tom had like a hint, right? I don't get it. Wait, he has fatigue. Thirty percent loss of blood quality. Oh, I see. So he he has fatigue. Wow, she has a really high blood quality. What the heck? Tom. Oh, I see, I see. Tom is the one I'm talking about. Okay, never mind. <laughs> My brain was like, this is Tom. Like, no, it's Dyson. I... Okay, so Dyson was the drunk guy. But he's pretty drunk. So, of course, he would be a little bit hard to get any blood off of, of course. Tell me, where's Welcome William? Back. Did you find what you were after? I can't say I have. Are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived? Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I've had. Uh, also, the reason why I kind of had a feeling that Sabrina would know something is because she's the one who's like... She works in the same place as Tom, so obviously there is a point where... Talking to an outsider of the person who's trying to hide the secret would be more easier than it is to just talk to the person of the source sometimes. Uh... It's kind of what it is, I guess. As a citizen hints, as a vampire, you can force the citizen to reveal its information, his their information, thanks to a hint you have discovered. Blue prompts. Okay. Tom, talk to me about the visit from your old friend, William. Yes, Will came by tonight. 
But he's not my friend anymore. What? Yeah, why lie to me? Why lie to me if he is not your friend? I didn't lie. I said you were my only unannounced customer, and that's the truth. No, I think that William, like, I think William hypnotized Tom, because Tom probably had been, uh, hypnotized or, like, seduced in a sense, like, uh, I don't know what the vampires are called, like, what they, when they brainwash the, their victims, they, vampires do have the ability to brainwash their, <laughs> their victims, I think. Who is he? William. Just an old sailor who loves his gin too much. He worked for years at the canning factory before it closed. No new information, but... Is he dangerous? Yeah. Like many drunks, he's all bark and no bite. Can barely <laughs> stand up most of the time. I'm sorry, he's going to be biting people tonight. <laughs> How was he tonight? Was he different? Oh, sicker than usual, perhaps. He whined and mumbled about how mean people were to him and how he'd like to talk to me outside. And then he left when I refused. Oh, interesting. So he wanted to talk to him outside. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please yeah, describe baby. him to me. What'd you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. William used to be strong. Now he's a mess. Oh, gosh. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? Well, he's going to die tonight because we're going to fight him, it looks like. Also, he said he's tough, so I'm very worried that this is like a sort of like vampire boss fight. Uh, no. I'm trying to figure out how to find our character here. Okay, well, I don't know how to find William, though. He said that we gotta look for the, the docks of the north, I think. North of the docks? Oops, my bad. How do I get rid of the marker, though? Erase marker F, okay. That's a nice button to have on F. <laughs> F for the marker chat. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let me see. So he said north of the docks, I think. That's what he said, I think. Yeah, it says inspect the boat. Uh, but the boat is... Somewhere near the east end docks, I suppose. Oh, that's what he's talking about with the story so far. I wish they could give us more better information than just find, inspect the boat, because I don't really, really know. But, sure, I guess. Actually, there might have been... No, never mind. I thought there was, like, a way to get through the bar to get to the boat, I guess, maybe, but... That's just me wondering, I guess. Maybe around here, maybe? Let's check over here. Yeah, I did, I did go over here, but there was no boat. There wasn't a boat out here, I don't think. It's locked, all right. Uh, of course. Yeah, we're kind of like in the northern spots of it, I guess. It's locked. Yeah, there's no, there's no place else here. So absolutely nothing out here, I guess. I do see a little tiny boat, but I don't think that's his boat, though. I don't think it's this boat. Also, that boat looks like it's about to drown. The water is going to push it down. No, I think it is through... We have to go through the bar, probably in the back, I think. I think the map marker is there, yeah. The y, the y map marker on the top of the screen is probably our way of hinting of where we need to go next, I think. I think we need to go this way. Yeah, because I think I that... will get to the bottom of this intrigue. What's been done to me, to this city? But I also think that William has also been a victim as well. Like the vampire drained his blood, just like we did, just like they did to us. But I think I think that it's hard to determine that because of the fact that uh, because of the fact that we're still kind of adjusting to our new abilities and adjusting to our world a little bit but a part of me also feels kind of like narratively it makes no sense a little bit because 
Actually, no, maybe it does It does make sense, but um, narratively it doesn't make sense to me that you, for, you forget, like, the world in a sense, considering that you live here for so long. City, you. Life saved by efficient medical aid is a blow struck at the, of the flu epidemic. Volunteers must make a difference. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's like, I feel like if you can see the whole map, that means you kind of know the, the vicinity. You know the, the world, basically, to some degree. But you don't know anybody, which is kind of weird to me, besides your own sister. <laughs> It's like, I feel like there should be more people that this guy knows, that, that Jonathan knows, but we're not too certain about anything else, I guess, about it. So I'm looking around to see if there's anything to grab a hold of. Wait, did he bleed out? It looks like the he's dead. The body is still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. There's a letter? There's a letter right there, isn't it? Pick up the note. What's this? Some sort of note. Alright, what does it say? October 30th from G. McCullum, G. McCullum to Doc's patrols. Object, multiple deaths at the Doc region, Doc's region. We believe a nasty leech is involved. Locale the beast. Locate the beast, sorry. Locale the beast. Locate the beach. Purge it and quickly. Warning, according to the recent reports, this vampire is very violent. Approach with extreme caution. I know we lack men in this part of the town, but don't send l rookies in to investigate the case. If I'm correct, we've got a frenzied one killing each night. As always, reach, oh, search abandoned places first, like old houses, basements, sewers, or warehouses. Destroy the leech, brothers. I see. So they were just on the hunt for... These men, they're a company of professional vampire hunters. Yep. They're just looking for this, looking for whoever's been killing the folks, I guess. This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. This corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. Mm. Blood and empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge. I see. I like the teleporting thing because it's like forces the players to like. I think I hate it and I like it. I like it because it's like it's it's kind of like centering your attention to just what works uh, for your game versus having to let the player freely just teleport everywhere because it could break the game anytime soon, <laughs> uh, which is. Leading to the downside is you can't teleport everywhere, just like Dishonored would, but that's how it goes, you know. Oh, there's a f enemy over there. Okay. I didn't realize there was an enemy over there until, uh, until I got there. Can I go around here? I cannot enter. I'm a little sad, though. The level design is just, like, preventing you from going any further. What's going on here? Oh, it's a hunter. Over there! Oh, I have to press F to stay behind the enemy. Kind of part of me wishes that I can loot off of the enemies, but like, I'm like, nah. <laughs> nah, I don't need to loot. Also, I'm not the one who's like, killing these folks, but yet they're doing weird stuff. Range weapon. Equip and press right click to use the range weapon and inflict both standard damage and stun damage. Uh, be aware that ammo is limited. Ammunition crate. Good. I may need a lot of bullets. I feel like I'm back on the front line again. Yeah, like, as I said, this guy was probably a field medic, so he was in war, probably. It's locked, all right. That's fair. Wait, is that a thing over here? No. No, no, no. I wanted to see what this guy's up to. Okay. Oh, he's already he's already down. Shotgun shells. Wow. Aluminum shards. Lead plate. 
some good stuff for components, I guess. Also, I'm going up here because I feel like up here would be much more safer in a weird way. For us to, like, take down enemies if we need to, I guess. But then again, I'm like... It's locked. But then again, I'm like, why even go up here, though? It's kind of weird to me a little bit because it's like there's nothing else besides items of interest, I guess. Anything more to loot off of? There is some stuff out here, it seems. Aluminum, shillings. It's a little bit difficult, though, to know if it's an item you can loot off of because you have to look at the, <laughs> the item and see if it's, like, shining. Enemy card. Press V to display the thing. Sorry, I got a phone call randomly. Press V to display the spot enemies. Yeah, I know. Uh, I was looking at it a little bit earlier. Resistance. Some enemies are more resistant to certain damage of certain types of damage. There are four types of resistance: melee, range, blood, and shadow. Orange indicates a medium resistance. Red indicates high resistance. So I can't shoot this guy, but he's also weak to. It looks like he's very weak to. Uh, I want to see if I can do like a distance attack, but I don't think I can. Uh. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh no no no. Wait, no, no, no. I'm still- I still have to, like, get used to it, I guess. Oh. Oh, I see, I see. I consume health by eating the heart, I guess. Oh, I dropped- he dropped some bullets, okay. I'm sorry, I'm, I don't remember how to play. <laughs> I don't remember my combat. Okay, let me get let me go back to my combat. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to just, like figure out what the hell am I pressing to like do the things anymore. Toggle enemies on control. Okay. Lock on, sure. Middle mouse, sure, whatever. Um interaction in fight. F melee attack shoot. Which I was pressing right click. Skills ultimate consumables, switch melee weapons, and switch range weapon. Ah, okay, so I need to switch that. How do you suck blood again? I haven't done the blood drain. Yeah, I haven't done blood drain in a long time, so I'm gonna probably lose out a lot of blood until I figure out how to do the blood drain again. Yeah, there's two enemies in there. Alright, let me examine this area a little bit to see if there's any collectibles. Is that an enemy? That looks like a person. It is. Best run along home, sir. Oh, there we go. I have to knock him down, I see. Well, he's gone. I don't think they saw me attack the guy. All right. I'm trying to like figure out how to like. I wish there was a way to distance Watch attack. Them. This one of them. Oh, jeez! Come on, really? Get the blood. Oh, there we go. Give me your blood. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I just teleported to him. Just to kill him off like that. I wish there was a way to stealth, but there's not a lot of, like, opportunities for stealth so far that I've seen. New collectible. New practices, new tactics. I know new tactics. I know that some of the companies consider that the best advantage we have in our fight against leeches is that they can't go out during the day. 
the worst, we can hunt them down when they hide par powerless in their sleep. This is a rookie mistake. First, because vampires are clever and they have countless ruses, I think? And ruses and tricks to avoid being spotted in their den. Second, because they deploy many deadly traps to kill any intruders in what they consider their most precious sanctuary, it would cost us too much men and too much time to explore and eradicate vampires in their hideouts. The best tactic is to follow and destroy them when they really are vulnerable, when they hurt at night. It is much easier to attack them then, for they can easily be spotted. That's why the Guard of Priven must evolve and deploy new tactics to, to hurt the leeches' small and mobile patrols. Tactics based on technolo technological advan advantages, modern communications, we can learn many things from the war in France. Oh, that's interesting. So this is like... They had like uh, they had some some kind of war against France, I guess, during this particular game, or before the game. Uh, new strategy, new equipment, and new weaponry: grenades, white phosphorus, ultraviolet light, bulletproof vests, and flamethrowers. It's it is time for the guard to embrace the twentieth century, from a new war by Geoffrey Jer Jer McCollum, Priven leader. Oh, this is the leader guy. Okay. Interesting. So we got like hints about who these kind of characters are. Now let's explore the space a little bit. See if there's any collectibles or pickupables to use. Yeah, I wish I could like destroy some objects and get some items, but seems unlikely. Well, I should probably switch my Yeah, it seems like you can't switch your weapon on the fly, I guess. Oh, there it is. I was like, where's my revolver? I I, I swear. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's a shame that I can't, like... It's a shame that I can't, like, uh... Ooh, what is this? Oh, oh, oh. a use Lepara. Is it stronger than what I have? Like, stronger than the pistol I have right now? 160, 45. Ooh. But this one's a shotgun, isn't it? I'll keep it to the pistol for now. Because I think there's more pistol ammo. Oh, jeez. Blood sucking. Oh, he's, he's down. That's interesting that these guys were up here all this time. And they didn't really jump down to help their buddies at all. Okay, I just wanted to see if there was anything, like, pick up that I might miss. Is there more guards around here? Nothing here, nothing there. Okay, I thought... I thought I could smash the box there. Sorry, I'm looking at the time as well. Yeah, I just want to make sure I'm on time here. Oh, that's interesting. So you can teleport across to here. It's just like cover distance on enemies up here, I guess. Alright, let's move forward. So far, it seems like this area is like just filled with these guards because they're thinking that like they know any better about how to hunt vampires for some reason. Rats and hideouts. Rats are often located near hideouts using s senses will help you locate them for more easily. I cannot enter. Oh. Unknown. I'm guessing that's a guy for the next region. Once we get to the next region, it might be involved, I guess. So where would the hideout be? Up there? Keep out. Also kind of amazes me that these uh, these hideouts are so obviously out of out in the open yet they don't really like <laughs> they don't really search these hideouts for some reason even though they are like kind of not super reachable but they are kind of are sort of reachable refill all i guess not i still don't understand the refill at all so we'll see whatever it is let's upgrade all right uh, let's see, can we upgrade this guy for once? Dude, where's my mouse? 
You can upgrade your weapons to a new level with a required ingredients. It will inflict more damage and you will also gain access to customization slots. Ooh, we can. Yes, upgrade it please. Because I've been using it a lot. Work in progress, achievement unlocked. Basically just upgrade the thing, I guess. Increase damage dealt by 10%. Or... or decreases stamina consumption by 10%. Oh, both of them are pretty good. More damage or less stamina usage. Can we get both of them at one at another point, I guess? Yeah, we can only upgrade to level 2, unfortunately. So it's either better damage or less stamina. If I'm playing the math game, if I'm a system designer, one of them needs to be either or, or both of them might be the same or one needs to be slightly better by like a little bit depending on how i build my character i think so if i have less stamina to deal with but i have like a whole stack of stamina it would be very worthless so i'm probably gonna go for damage extra damage yeah because i think extra damage would be that's better achievement unlock okay i guess <laughs> that's a thing this one, however, I need to upgrade, but I don't have enough tools now, unfortunately. I don't have enough tools to begin with. Yeah, that's also not enough. That's also not enough. I need springs, apparently. Which, this thing has springs, but I don't want to waste it yet, so I'm going to keep at it for now. Alright, cool. I'm wondering if, if we'll be able to have like some sort of resource farm, like to wait, a way to find resources out in the wild or resources in our own hideout to like figure out a way to get better and stuff maybe more health maybe more more stamina yeah because if i increase stamina let's say i max out the, the physical prowess uh perk or ability then that means i don't really worry too much about stamina by that point unless my weapon really takes a lot of stamina to use but by that point, I don't think that should matter, considering how that's gonna work. That's how it's gonna work eventually. Increases the blood absorption when using it. Uh, increases life regen when using bite in combat. Uh, let's do that. Sweet. Now we get five percent heal on blood, or in, in yeah, sucking bloods. I'll probably... So we have 220 XP. We don't have enough for the next upgrade, which is 300 usually. Um, oh, no, no, no. I wanted to confirm. Yes. Um, yeah, so I think that we'll, we'll probably go for, like, more stamina next, I think, when we get, when we get to that point. For now, I'm probably going to live with whatever I got so far. Um, yeah, let's keep going. Sorry, I'm just like... Wait. Enemies respawn, really? Why? Oh. Oh. There we go. Give me your blood. Sweet. I'm wondering if that even... Oh, that did give us some some XP. <laughs> I didn't realize it actually gave us some XP. Oh, and this guy dropped some money. I'll take it. Yeah, so we can t theoretically loot them, loot the, the enemies for their items if we if we manage to pull it off, of course. Alright. Um, hmm. What time is it? 29 minutes. Oh... I don't know. I feel like if I continue forward, it won't be easy to get there yet. Like, we're not probably going to get to the spot that we need to get to just yet. So we'll probably have to, like, eventually come back here. Fresh the next blood. Episode. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. Ooh. Lead rod. Can we open this door? It's locked. No. Okay. So... Uh, I think it's best if I come back to this in the next episode. Uh, so yeah, let's con let's continue this in the next episode. 
I don't know to what degree that we'll be seeing this again, but yeah. I'll start off in this area, maybe in the hideout. I don't know where the save spot is. That that's the one bad point for me is like I don't know where the save save uh, position happens sometimes because it's hard to know based on how I'm seeing it. But we'll try, you know. We'll try seeing what happens then by that point. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode where nobody minds. Hope you guys have a great, amazing day, weekend, night, or whenever watching this. Next episode, let's go ahead and follow this trail to William. I believe we're still chasing after William, and he's just been like... <laughs> it's kind of a weird, long path to just to get to William. And it's like we're fighting a bunch of like vampire hunters for some reason to just get to him. But I don't know. Maybe the vampire hunters want to take William in to, so they, they can use him to find the other vampires and kill all the other leeches. Kind of like their, their way to like infiltrate the enemy territories by using one vampire at the best of their ability, but they're probably going to meet me as, uh, as, shoot, what's his name? What's the character's name? Jonathan, yes. They're going to meet Jonathan, and they're going to be like, wait, what? <laughs> and get wrecked by me as the character and stuff. But anyways, uh, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to seeing how we're going to interact with William. I don't know if we're going to end up fighting him, or if we're going to talk our way out to prevent ourselves from killing him. So we can get an ally, or if we might just end up killing him. Because I don't think there's going to be a huge option for us in this case. Because I think William killed some folks and uh, killed the folks outright for no reason. So it's like, we're going to have to do something about it eventually. Like, innocent folks, I feel like. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Other than that, that's it for this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. We're never new minds, and hope you guys have a great amazing day. We're going to watch this. Roz, out.